Who would win in a fight between all the villagers in Stardew Valley? Weirdly, I've asked myself this question before and I wanted to see what the answer was. So I went through and created almost every single Stardew Villager in WWE 2K23 and put them in a knockout tournament to see who would win to become the inaugural Stardew Valley World Champion. And yeah, it becomes as ridiculous as it sounds. So strap in, enjoy the ride because I promise you, you're gonna wanna see how this one ends. All right, first match. Who's the first one out? Who is it? It's Alex. <laughs> It's Alex! It's our first competitor of the evening. He's taking a selfie. <laughs> Next out we have... The Wizard! An ominous presence within the Stardew community. Slowly making his way to the ring. Take, taking his... Taking a sweet, sweet time. Just... Uh, okay, it's been, it's been a minute and a half. Just, just really taking his time with it. And next up... It's big money Pierre! <laughs> Dollar signs raining down. The champ, the capitalist, big money P. Oh, he's so agile. Boo's raining down for the crowd. First match of the tournament. My hands are up and the wizard and Alex lock up and he just puts him on the rope and he throws him down. I'm gonna be really interested to see how the AI actually handles this. Jesus, Pierre. Okay, the wizard's coming out strong. They're just throwing each other around. Wizard's off to a strong start here. Oh my God, Pierre is getting his ass handed to him. Alex is going out of the ring. Four, he's looking, he's getting something. Oh, we got a steel chair. Let him use it, wizard. It'll be funny. No, don't punch him in the face. That's the money maker. You'd say Alex may be the favorite in this, considering he has the sporting background. But don't forget, the wizard has a lot of magic up his sleeve. Oh, I, I don't know what that was. He just kind of picked him up. Pierre from behind slaps him in the back and throws him out of the way just so him and the wizard could lock up. You know there's a lot of fights over Carolyn that's going on here. You know there's a lot of resentment within Pierre, knowing that this man stole his wife. Pierre here is getting revenge. Punches to the gut, one after another. That's for sleeping with my wife. And Alex gets involved, but he slammed down. A huge move from Pierre who's starting to gain momentum. The wizard throws him away. Oh, it drops him face first to the first cover of the match. Pierre kicks out at two. Huge, and Alex gets on top of it. Punch to the face, the money maker. I don't know what happened there with Alex. He just kind of had a little slipsy doodle. Backbreaker. Spear! Spear from the wizard! And Pierre's down! And a flying elbow! He's dragging his lifeless body. Dear God. And the wizard hits him from behind. Choke slam! Choke slam! This could be it! Pierre's down! Alex breaks it up in two! Alex breaks it up in two! Oh, and he drags him down! Gets him in the submission hold! And Pierre's out of it! He's just thinking about how Carolyn left him for that man! Reminiscing about how his marriage is coming to an end. Oh, and another choke slam. The wizard's really taking control here. This could be it. Alex is done! That's it! Pierre and Alex bow out of the tournament! The wizard goes through! The I think this officially means Carolyn's his wife! The winner of this match! The wizard. Why does Penny look so bad? Oh my God, I completely forgot to mention. In this yes, game, the male wrestlers and female wrestlers cannot fight. So I had to make all the female wrestlers male. And who's out first? It's the Poppy Princess Penny. I'm sorry, I really tried for the woman. That's our opiate queen, the underdog of this tournament, in my opinion. No one would see sweet old Christian Penny is coming out fighting, but I know deep in her heart, there is a lot of anger. Who's out next? Oh my God. Gunta! <laughs>
Gunter! My God! With a look of pure focus in his eyes is making his way to the ring. Unspoken and forgotten. No more. How is Penny going to go up against a machine like this? <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot I gave him Vince McMahon's interest. The CEO waving the Georgia brand. It's Morris. Look how tall he is. <laughs> He's huge. Oh my God. He just murdered Penny. Oh, and they're just beating on Penny to begin with. See, the thing is, chat, is while Gunther may look like the favorite here, this is a triple threat, which means he only has a one in three chance of taking this, okay? Oh, and he's just throwing Morris around like a child, and Penny whooping Gunther's ass, throwing the big right hook. The haymaker, I'm telling you, chat, Penny has a lot of unbridled anger just deep in her stomach, and Penny... Oh, they don't teach that at boarding school. As long as Morris doesn't win this, I think I'm happy. What the fuck? That was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and Morris got a kendo stick for some reason. And Penny's getting thrown around. Jesus, straight to the abs. Penny's going for the cover. His shit could steal it. Two kicked out. I don't know what Gunther was doing there. Why was he not paying attention? And he's grabbed a steel chair. Oh, and she slams Morris' heads first into the steel chair. This is for letting me use your library for free. But Morris is busted open. Wait, Penny can steal it. Penny can steal this. He's stunned. No, kick out. Oh, I thought she had it. I actually thought she had it. Wait, look how beaten up Gunther is. Gunther might be out of this. Penny has the most health out of all of them. Oh, and with the steel chair. Oh, oh, just right in the boob. Not like this. Not like this. Oh. The Joja flag waves on to the next round. I'm disgusted. Honestly, the next match we have is one of the biggest in the first round because the next match we have is Haley, Harvey, and Robin. <laughs> it's the American hero, Harvey. The big doctor is about to take the patients to town. He's broken the Geneva Convention and he won't even hesitate to break a few necks if it means he gets that heavyweight championship. And here we go. The diva of the valley. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why does she look like that? I think I got the outfit pretty right. Beer drinking. Ass whooping. Here comes Robin. Robin 316 said, I'm going to build your house and tear it down, baby. Oh, and Robin's going for a pin straight away. No, picks her up. Oh, and slams down Haley. If Haley wants to win this, she needs to be fast. She needs to be quick. And she needs to stay low. Oh, Jesus. Not in the money maker. That was right in the face and slams her down with a cent on. Double teaming. Oh, and they're double teaming. Double suplex. Going after the smallest one on the ring. Uh, I think that's a bit unnecessary here. She's got houses to build. She's got to get out of there quickly. Was that an angle slam already? Was that an angle slam already? And a two count. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, breaking her elbow. Put her in a cast. Oh, in the small of the back too. It's precision like from Harvey. He just goes after the individual body piece and just tries to tear it limb from limb. And over the top rope from Harvey. Where did the hops come from the big man? Haley's just ferocious. I feel like Haley's the kind of like fighter that would just gouge your eyes out with her nails if she had to. Oh God, can Nick stretch that way? Robin, you're a carpenter, not a chiropractor. That's Harvey's job, dude. Oh, she's getting hyped in the corner. And Harvey's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh, Penn, this might be it. Harvey might take advantage too. The doctor. We'll see you now. Oh my God, I didn't even realize. This next match has Emily and Clint in it. Emily's gonna break his heart and then break his spine. Oh, it's Lewis. 
from the pit of hell <laughs> like a golden statue on the mount of olympus glorious mayor lewis makes his way to the ring to be fair to lewis though he probably like funded this tournament with taxes i like to imagine they do this every year in the valley and they do it as like a way to settle disputes like this is how they settle arguments in the valley they just fucking get up and throw hands Island. I made this so long ago. I can't remember any of this. Why is he? Why is he so sassy with it? Oh my god! Work it, Queen. Yes, get it, girly pop. And speaking of a broken heart, here comes your Ramona flowers of the evening. Here's Emily. I wonder how Clint will perform in this, knowing that Emily is here. Because I know Emily has no problems throwing hands with Clint, but I don't know if Clint is going to have a problem with throwing hands with Emily. And our last competitor? Oh my god. Oh my god. 351 pounds. 7 feet tall. <laughs> and 12 beers deep. Here comes Pam. <laughs> oh my God. She's not driving the bus. She is the bus. Wait, why is Clint so small? He's shorter than Haley, and he's picked up Pam like it's nothing. He's got that blacksmith string. Oh my God. And she's just getting thrown around by Clint. Surely Pam can just like sit on them and she'll win, right? Oh, and Pam's got a steel chair. She's sick of this. And she's waiting for Lois. Oh, straight to the abdomen. That's a new, that's a new spleen that Lois needs. Interestingly, Clint and Emily have not had an exchange so far. I think Clint's emotions are getting the better of him in this match. This is Clint taking all those taxes he's ever lost to Lois and bringing them down. Lois turns his attention to Pam, grabs her around the waist, rakes the back, a dirty move from Lois. Oh, here we go. Clint and Emily in the ring, locking up. I think Clint's realized, can't let his feelings get the better of him. Bring Emily up. Emily's got him in the submission. Oh, she's wrapped his heart up and now she's wrapped him up in a submission, but Clint gets out and drops Emily down. Why Lewis has so much HP? Yo, what the fuck? Why does Lewis have so much health? Is Lewis cheating? Did he use the tax money to buy like steroids? Oh, that's so typical of Lewis too. It's like election night in Stardew Valley. You, you never know what the real numbers are. Spinning her around, dropping her down. That's the closest to a hug Clint will ever get from Emily. Wait, Clint can steal it here. Clint can steal it. Oh my God. If Lewis didn't get that, it would have been wham, bam, thank you, man. Match would have been over. Big fights. And my game crashed. Did Lewis rig my computer too? All right, we're back after Lewis's uh, abrupt cheating. And this time to speed things up a bit, this is a battle royale, which means that it is an elimination match. And to be eliminated, you have to be thrown over the top rope, sort of like a mini Royal Rumble. Last person standing wins. This also evens the odds a bit more, in my opinion. I think now this is really anyone's game because Pam can just kind of pick you up and throw you like that. And she could throw you over the top rope. Finally, Clint feels the embrace of a woman and it's a slap to the face that he feels. Ooh. Emily's trying to eliminate Clint. This could be our first elimination. Clint's holding on barefooted as any dogs out. I didn't realize Clint had his dogs out. Pit that stanks. Oh, Clint's gone. Oh, Clint's gone just like that. A hell of a rejection from Emily. She said no at the flower dance and she's saying no at the tournament and Clint just has to walk off. And Pam is struggling to get to her feet. Emily looking to eliminate Lewis here. Oh, but a backhand by Lewis. Emily's on the top. Oh, she's on her belly. Oh, and Emily's gone. And it's down to our final two. Lewis and Pam. Who's going on to the next round? Who will face Harvey? Oh, and Lewis chucks her on the ropes. No, 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 not like this. God damn it. The dirty dog takes it to the next round. He had to cheat. He had to fight. He had to spend taxpayer money. But God damn it, did it work. 
I'm furious. Sebi, Gus, and Sam. Two brothers in arms, two best friends ready to go to war against one another. You just know that Gus has been in a few bar fights in his life. He's had to throw out a few troublemakers. He's probably thrown hands with Pam for all we know. Here comes Catboy Sebastian. This is, I thought it was too fitting to, gave him the, to give him the maid outfit. And that means next out, here comes his best friend, Sam. I gave him a penny board. Why the Saiyan wig? What do you mean? It's just what he looks like. Here we go. What's he got? A fucking ladder? What are you, Robin? What are you gonna do, some DIY? And Sam's just doing a little bit of a jiggy. Oh, and Gus brings down. And Seb putting his thighs around Sam. Probably not for the first time, let's be honest. No, oh, he's doing it again. No, so I had to make him really tall. Oh, what a Canadian destroyer from the second rope. What the fuck, is that a sledgehammer? What is he, Triple H? This is how he gets them out of the bar when it hits 2 a.m. This is what Sam and Seb need to do. They need to, they need to team up on Gus. They need to double team him because Gus has had all the momentum so far. Big cover from Seb, from Sam. What? What just happened? Sam just stole it, pinning his own boyfriend. Did Sebastian throw that for Sam? Because it just came out of nowhere. I did not see that one coming. I'll be honest with you, chat. I, 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 I'm shocked. I think this match is going to be an absolute banger because this match is Shane, Linus, and George. Battle of the dad bods. Here we go. The following is a triple threat. Extreme Here we go. Match. Making his way to the ring. Two packs in, and he's fighting for absolutely nothing in his life. It's Shane, the big man. Look, I even put the J on his shirt. Guys, I was really proud of his design. As far as I can remember, this was the closest they had to a wheelchair. Holy fuck, it's a miracle. And here the bells toll. <laughs> Prize fighter. Oh god, Linus. Come on, Linus. What are you, Penny? Throwing George around like that? No need. Look how tiny George. Oh, guys, this is not. Why are you double teaming George? I don't know if Shane is actually huge. I think I accidentally made Linus and George really short. Oh, and it, Oh, George. George reversed it? Running the ropes? George, what the fuck was that? The new legs are working perfectly for George. To Shane, this is just an average Friday afternoon. So I think Linus has a lot of experience with fighting off bears in the forest, which is pretty much what he's doing with Shane right now. That was closer than it should have been. Stunner! A cold brew stunner from Shane! I'm very good. Oh, and George with the steel chair to Shane! And if he wasn't busted open before, he certainly is now. And Shane is dazed. What could George do? Rolls him down. George has to take advantage of this. And what an upset would it be if George could get the winner here. And he's gone outside. Why has he gone outside? Is that a fucking baseball bat? Did he grab that from Alex's room? This is elderly abuse, honestly. What the fuck? He just punched the riff. What the, that's so mean. <laughs> Linus just hit a ballet move and Shane's knocked out. Why is the riff not counting? Shane kicked out. Why was the riff counting so slow? Oh, and George hits another sliced bread and he's pinned him. This could be underdog upset of the century. Two count. But Shane just breaks it up. What the fuck is this referee doing? She's been knocked out one too many times. The count is so slow. Linus has really, really taken advantage here. Oh, this is, I think this might be murder. Beating an old man with a sledgehammer? That, uh, someone needs to stop this match, dude. Oh, package throw down. Surely that's it. Just cover him. Just cover him. Stunner. Cold brew stunner. That has to be it. Surely. Surely. What? How? Oh, George is just whipping him. Jumps up to the top rope. 
Look at those maneuvers from George. The new legs are really coming in handy. Linus has gone up to the top rope. Massive senton. Shane's stun. Another senton to Shane. And the pin. Could this be it? He's done it. What an upset. Shane's out. I'm shocked Shane was one of my favorites. Linus advances through the caveman goes. Our next round will be Sam versus Linus. Mother versus daughter, and then Leah. Who will win, chat? It's Abigail, and she's brought a weapon. Is that allowed? She's got the magic girl sword. She's looking huge. She's ready to eat up her opponents like she eats an amethyst, dude. Mother versus daughter. Did I say the original gangster? And last but finally not least, do not discount, it's not Becky Lynch, it's, it's Leah. There was no like lumberjack intro. This is like really hard for me because this is three of my favorite girls. Oh my God, Carolyn just went straight into beating her daughter's ass. She did not care. Boom, that's for not doing the dishes. <laughs> These are family issues, you're not involved. Oh, she just throws it down. Oh, crushing the shoulder like she crushes an amethyst in her teeth. The hell is that? That is some mum strength if I've ever seen it. Leah going outside. She's got a kendo stick. Abby rolls out, grabs a steel chair. Then Leah just jumps on the both of them, taking them both out. Wait, that was a huge jump. Straight into Abby, who brings up Carolyn and slaps her own mother. I like when they just kind of smack each other. I think it's really funny when they just punch each other. She's like, Pierre was never my father. DDT. Abby could take advantage. One, two, this is it. Abby wins. Abby's through. She pinned her own mother. One of the favorites, Leah, is out of the competition. There is the possibility that Abigail and Sam could meet. Our final match sees Maru against her father, Demetrius. Alongside Willy and one of my absolute favorites for the tournament, Elliot. Our final group stage match chat. Here we go. Oh, who's out first? Maru. I did Maru. So dirty. I just couldn't get the face right. Whoa, holy shit, he's jags. Look at those four. Oh my god, look at those biceps. A man of science and a man of weight. Maru's father, Demetrius. Demetrius might not be the most popular Dilf, but if you want Jack Daddy, if you want a man to treat you right, here is Fisherman Willy. The next competitor chat. My favorite for the tournament after now that Pam's eliminated. The Prince, Elliot, the Prince of Poems, making his way to the ring. The book publishing deal has been signed and it's made him no money. So he needs to win this tournament. I beg of you that he wins this because I really, uh, he's got the best entrance. He's got the best entrance by a mile. I want him to go all the way. Fatal 4-Way Battle Royale. To be eliminated, you have to be thrown over the top rope. Oh, look at this. Demetrius instantly going after his own daughter. And you knew he would, too. That's the thing. You knew he would, because he's just that sort of man. Oh, and look. Maru's fighting back. Elliot doesn't care. He doesn't care that him and Willie are beach bros. But he's not here for friends. He's here to make up all the money he lost when he, when he signed that publishing deal. But Demetrius has a word about it, trying to eliminate him. And Maru's not going to help. Not helping Demetrius at all. Demetrius is gone. Demetrius is gone, just like that. Elliot has eliminated Demetrius. Big, big move from Maru. Throwing Willie down and taunting him. Look at that, spitting in his face, telling him to get up. I don't know how long you're gone for. Elliot beating his ass, just seeing Willie halfway across the ring. And now Maru throwing hands, the left, the right, for all the women in STEM. Go on, girly, show us what you're made of. 
Oh, but Elliot's just up like nothing happened. And throwing her around. Oh, boo. And Maru, look at the show of strength. She's not just strong in her career. She's strong in her arms too. Willie. Oh, Willie, using his good sense, bonks the two together. Elliot grabs him around the waist, not for the first time. Throws him into the ropes. Oh, precarious position around. Look, Willie's gone. Oh, final two. And look at Maru. Maru, the underdog. Helpless, lifeless in the corner. And like a shark in the water, Elliot smells blood. I've changed allegiances. I want Maru to go through. Oh, but Elliot takes it. He was just too strong. Wow, what a showing for Maru, though. She did amazing. Outlasted her father. She can hold her head high. But Elliot is through to the next round. At least we get his cool entrance again. We are on to our quarterfinals. Now, for the quarterfinals, I wanted it to be, like, something fun and also sort of quick. Let's do table matches for the quarterfinals. The first match of the quarterfinals, we have the Wizard versus Morris. The Purple Daddy battle. A mysterious aura fills the arena. As a crowd favorite, the Wizard comes to fight. Flying the Joja banner. Look at him strutting into the arena like he owns the place. And you know what Joja Corp pretty much does. Now, this is a table match. So how it works is the first person to go through a table loses. And they are out of the competition. The Wizard. Morris. The quarterfinals of the Valley, of Valley Rumble. Here we go. And a big start from the Wizard. Taking it to Morris. Oh, what a big gut kick. Don't we all wish we could do that to him? Oh, there's just a table outside. I didn't even see that. Whoa, and a kip up from the wizard. Who knew a 376 year old man had such agility? Collar and elbow tie up. Morris throws him into the corner. Goes for the shoulder tackle, but the wizard misses and gives him a knee of his own and goes outside. What could he be grabbing? Another table? And both competitors have a table and they, Morris has set it up. And there's a wizard throwing hands. Go for the ropes. Springboard elbow. Oh, and the wizard says, give it to me, big boy. Not like that. That's not what I meant. I meant in fighting. That's not what I meant. That's not. Kind of what wrestling is like. Oh, and he's just used the table to bonk him. Oh, and the kicks from the wizard. Agile for an almost 400-year-old man. Oh, Morris is going dangerous here. He's going up to the top. That's a long way to go. Telling the wizard to get up. And a huge, huge shoulder from Morris. The wizard is dazed. I don't know if he knows where he is. Massively dazed. Oh, but a kick to the nads from the wizard. And the wizard throws him into the corner. This could be it. This could be it. Wizard picks up Morris through the table. The wizard wins. Capitalism has been defeated. The wizard is through to the semifinals of the Rumble Valley Tournament. He barely broke a sweat. This next match, we're going extreme. A table match between Harvey and Lewis to see who will be versing the Wizard in the semifinals. Shawnee Doo makes his entrance, but he's got a big, big task ahead of him. Because he's versing Lewis, who we know will lie, cheat, and steal his way to victory. And here we go. A big collar and elbow tie up. Harvey gets the upper hand, throws him into the ropes. Brings up Lewis and drops him over the top. Oh my God, Lewis almost went through the table. Instantly, Lewis almost went through the table. The table did not break. It did not break. That would have been an unbelievable. Oh, and Lewis hits him with the clothesline. He's lucky. He's a lucky man, Lewis. He doesn't know it, but he's a lucky man. Is Lewis going to be grabbing the first table? He is. Oh, he throws it to the side. Says, I don't want it. And Harvey with the big somersault over the top. Oh, and this is instantly gone outside. Listen, we're in ECW and these two are taking it extreme. See, the thing is, is Harvey doesn't mind beating up an old man because he knows he's just going to get that healthcare money afterwards when they need to go see the doctor for their, like, bleeding internal organs. So really, Harvey's already a winner. See, Harvey's just using the... Oh! A back body drop! 
onto the barricade. Lewis has really not been in this as much as I thought he would. The table is set up. Now it only takes one of them to go through for this match to be over. And Lewis is bleeding. There is blood in this match. He is busted open. Lewis has kind of had his ass handed to him. This is almost looking, dare I say it, kind of easy for Harvey. Oh, what a massive back body drop onto the side of the ring. Look, and Harvey's just dragging him to the table. I think this is going to be it. I think this is going to be it. And it is. That was nothing more than pure domination. Wow. Lewis didn't stand a chance. That was surgical from Harvey. He's hardly broken a sweat. We have our first semi-final. The Wizard versus Harvey. This next match for placing our second semi-final, I would say Battle of the Underdogs. I did not expect either of these two to win their match. Yep, here we are. Skating his way to the ring. It's Sam. Probably smoked a doobie before this, I'm not even gonna lie. Now, we might be in your house, but... <laughs> Boy, do we have competitors that don't have them. This is Linus. It's Fred Flintstone versus Goku. Instantly gro goes outside to grab a steel chair. I thought he was grabbing a table, but no, I guess Linus wants to do some damage before he puts him through. And Sam's got the first table? Sam does. If I had to pick a winner, I would have to say I would really love for Sam to win this personally. Oh, just Linus just working the abdomen. See, Sam has the Sam has the age advantage. Sam, being about 40 years younger than Linus, just has more agility than his opponent. But Linus has that pure animal instinct to kill. Sam grabs him, throws again. Once again, running the ropes, drops down. Drop kick, beautiful, absolutely beautiful drop kick. Oh, Jesus Christ, Linus. He's had enough of Goku over here. Linus is like, I hate anime. This is it, Linus has his, his finisher. This is it. Could he throw him back? He's done it. Linus is through. Unbelievable, his animalistic instincts take him through to the next round, into the semifinals. I thought for sure Linus would lose in the first round. And now here he is all the way into the semis. Our final quarterfinal to see who will be versing Linus in the next round. My chat is neck and neck on who they want to win this. This is legal gambling. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's say legal. This, in my opinion, is the biggest quarterfinal. The most even quarterfinal. And Elliot, oh, Abby Sato, huge. Oh my god, Abby just went straight through it. She almost put Elliot through a table right away. Oh, she's, she's rolled him up. She's choking him out. Elliot, fighting out of it, throwing hands, pushes Abigail off. What a fast paced match. Oh, now he's throwing the slaps. He's throwing the chops. But Ab Abby rolls out of the way, kicks him in the stomach. Sunset flip. Wow, what a fast paced start we have to this match. I did not expect this. Starting off so well, just beating down Elliot, and now she goes out to grab the table. She could end this before it's even started. But Abby gets Elliot in position. Whoa, look at that, trying to snap Elliot's neck. All that hardening that she's had to do, going down to the mines by herself. She's a warrior, Abigail. She doesn't go down without a fight, and she just called Elliot a crybaby. Abby's still in the green. Oh, and Elliot just throws Abby out of the ring. That's the thing. Abigail, uh, Elliot will have the strength advantage over Abigail. I think this is good tactics from Abby to go fast because Elliot has the strength. Drops down. Irish whip, power slam. Oh, wow. Abby's on the table. Oh, this could be it. Fast pass match. She's the heart of a warrior, but Elliot's looking to finish it. Oh, just kicks, a brutalizing her. Keeps a hold of the wrist, ends it with a chop. Picks her up. This might be it. This might be it, but Abby reverses it, drops him down. Kicks him in the face, and Elliot is bleeding already. Oh, and she's just, she's just doubling down on it. Busting him open even more. Throwing the haymakers and a slap to finish it. She doesn't care. But Elliot's too strong. Double drop kick. Huge move from Elliot. 
Maybe the blood's angered him. Picks Abigail up. This could be it. This could be it. Power slam. It's done. And Elliot looks angry. Wow. What a match. That might be the best match we've had so far. Abigail, she fought like a champion, but Elliot's strength, his pure brutality just won that for him. Our semifinals are set. The Wizard versus Harvey. Linus versus Elliot. Who will go to WrestleMania and who will fight for the Stardew Valley Championship? Let's see. Our first semifinal, who will go through to the final? The Wizard Wizard, who has beaten Alex and Pierre in our brutal first match and then beat the shit out of CEO Morris to get here. But of course, he's going up against an American hero. Harvey has looked dominant to get here, and I'm not sure the wizard has what it takes to stop him. It has been medical. Harvey is singular, and could he book his spot at WrestleMania? Our first semi-final of the evening. The wizard versus Sean uh, Harvey. Now chat, might I remind you of the rules? This is a Falls Count Anywhere match, which means you can pin or submit your opponent anywhere in the building. It does not have to be in the ring. I also think there's no disqualification, but I'm not, actually, I'm not too sure about that. The wizard gets a steel chair. Instantly gets a steel chair, whips Harvey's ass. Boom, that's a concussion. You just know the wizard just uh, might have taken a few potions before he came out here, you know? A few performance enhancing potions just to get to the size he needed to for this tournament. But Harvey has got a supply of his own and that's a first count on the outside. And just a two count. Listen, I'm not saying these guys were scrawny beforehand. Oh, and then Bulldog onto the steel steps. And another, oh, I don't know where the ref's going. She's just thinking about it and Harvey kicks out. The ref was really thinking about it there. Oh, and just a knee to the face of Harvey. What's the wizard grabbing? Kendo, Harvey over the top, misses big time. Harvey, angle slam onto the steel steps and the cover. This could be it. No, a kick out from the wizard. Who's fighting back and drives him down. This is much more even than Harvey's last match. I'm not sure if Harvey expected such a competitive match from the wizard, but the wizard is really holding his own. He's doing it for all the little Junimos back home. Choke slam. Choke slam. Ha wait, Harvey could be done here. Look at Harvey's health. One. No, kicks out. Just at the last second, Harvey is still in this. And Harvey's fighting back. Oh, and another sleeper hold from Harvey. If he gets him down, this could be it. He's got him down. Could the wizard tap? Could he pass out? Does the wizard have much life in him? How is his life force? Is it draining? He's fought out of it. And the wizard gets him up. Boom! Drops him down with a move that I always forgot. It was Scott Hall's finisher, and I forgot the name of it. Oh, th I think this is it. He wants to finish this in the middle of the ring. He doesn't even care about the false count anywhere. Going up top. High risk can lead to high reward. He misses! He misses! High risk for a reason, and Harvey chops him down! Harvey chops him down! Now he's asking him to get up! This could be it! Is this the choke slam of his own? Choke slam! If Harvey pins, this could be it! If Harvey pins, this could be it! This could be it! He's done it! He's done it! Harvey's through to the finals! What a comeback at the end! And the male wife extraordinaire is our first competitor in the final. And here's our second semi-final chat. Linus, the underdog, who no one thought would get this far, but he's got a formidable task against him. One would say probably the favorite to win the entire tournament, as he's going up against Elliot. Elliot has left a wreckage in his path. Elliot just needs to not overlook Linus, and he's booked his place into the final. The semi-final, falls count anywhere at SummerSlam, and Elliot with a big spear to begin with. Linus, 
throws him out already, but Elliot punches back. But Linus with the kick. Elliot has the size, strength, speed, and just kind of all the advantages possible. But Linus has a fighting spirit. And also I think he eats raw meat, which is kind of intimidating. Oh, he's throwing him into the referee. That is dirty from Elliot. I, I don't know what Linus is doing. He drops the elbow down on Elliot. Surprisingly, Linus has had the upper hand this entire beginning of this match. Elliot cannot get a footing, and he tries to, but every time Linus just seems to have an answer. Look, just like that. Linus has an answer. Boom, but he doesn't have an answer for that. The pretty boy Elliot versus, you know, Linus. This is the most, the biggest juxtaposition that we've seen. Elliot picks him up. Linus skates around the back. Collar and elbow tie up, super kick. Elliot stays up. Boom, and the bike body is suplex. Linus goes for a cover. Elliot could be dazed here. Two count. Elliot kicks out. And he rolls out of the ring. He needs to get his bearings here. Elliot cannot get too dazed. He's not been able to get a footing in this match yet. Linus has held him down. Oh, and a tiger suplex from Elliot, throwing him around. That's using his size and... Sp oh, and once again, he's just beating him. As, uh, the referee might have to stop this match, but no. Linus, with the heart of a champion, does like a weird ballet move, goes for the cover. Is Elliot knocked out? No, he kicks out. Beating him. Beating him. Oh, my God. What was that, Elliot? Oh, and another missile double drop kick. Oh, and a sleeper, a sleeper hold. Can he drop it down? He does, he does. This could be it. This could be it, Linus could go to sleep. Linus needs to wake up. Linus needs to wake up, he does. And escapes in the headbutt. Linus also has a finisher on him, which means he can hit it once. Signature move. Hits the super kick. This would be the upset of the tournament if Linus can hit this. Sent on, Elliot stunned. But for some reason, Vince McMahon is here. What the fuck? What the fuck, Vince McMahon? <laughs> what? Uh, oh my God, it's a millionaire beating up on a homeless man. Oh, and a stunner. Oh, Elliot has to cheat to get his way. This is disgusting. I've never seen such lies, such cheats, for Elliot to have to win. You couldn't do it clean, Elliot. You had to call upon some millionaire to help you out. Oh, Linus, and he had it. And he had it. It's power bomb. And he's done it. That is disgusting. Not like this. Elliot is through to the final of the competition because he paid off Vincent Kennedy McMahon, former CEO of WWE, to beat up a homeless man. I never would have saw it coming. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. On the grandest stage of them all, we have our final of the tournament. Making his way to the ring. Surgical, medical, the fan favorite male wife. Harvey. This is the biggest moment in Harvey's career, okay? He couldn't win the hearts of Maru. He couldn't be a pilot, but he can be world heavyweight champion. And all it takes is one match. The crowd is on his side. And they're loving it. But by God, does he have a hell of a task in front of him. Undefeated. A path of destruction behind him. No one could even stop him. Winning the battle royal against Willie, Maru, Demetrius, destroying Abigail, taking down Linus. Without even breaking a sweat, this is Elliot. And this could be your first Stardew Valley heavyweight champion. And this is what it's all for, ladies and gentlemen. The grandest prize in sports entertainment and professional wrestling. The grandest prize in the Valley. The Stardew Valley Heavyweight Championship. Designed by your very own.
Harvey, Elliot, on the grandest stage of them all. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up. Harvey drags Elliot to the ropes, ties him up, hangs him high. Grabs in the bear hug, throws him outside. Instantly, some big action here. There is a count out in this match. You can be counted out. I will say now, if this happens, oh, Harvey goes over the top, but he misses, and Elliot sends on. It is a fast paced start to this match. Oh, and Elliot throws Harvey into the stairs. I will say, if there is a count out, we will restart this match. You cannot win a championship on a count out or disqualification. You have to pin or submit your opponent. And that is what Elliot's doing. Elliot's going for the submission, but a rope break from Harvey. Good ring awareness and a big boot from Elliot takes him down. By God, my voice is shot. Elliot throws Harvey into the ropes, drops down over the top. Oh, and a big elbow. First cover of the match. Harvey kicks out at one. He's still in this, but he hasn't done a lot of damage to Elliot. Oh, and it's a big thumb from Elliot, and he's gloating. Elliot is already dominating this match. Massively, massively dominating this match. Harvey breaks through. I'm worried it's going to be so one-sided. Wait, Elliot, Harvey's going for the pin. Harvey's going for the pin. Elliot kicks out. Monkey Frip. Monkey flip from Harvey. And he's throwing hands. Elliot, Harvey is fighting with all he's got. Look at the different damage they have. Elliot has barely any damage and Harvey's right down to the bottom. And this is good for Harvey. Oh, oh my God, I thought he was getting him position for something else there. My God, and a massive suplex. And Elliot straight back up again. Oh, and straight into the power bomb. Oh my God, that might be it. And he kicks out. Harvey kicks out. And he misses. Get him, Harvey. Get the finisher. Please. Please. Ankle lock. Ankle lock from Harvey. Tap out, Elliot. Tap out. Tap out. No, he rolls out of it. That was Harvey's finisher. Oh, and Elliot's bringing him to the ropes. Oh, and I, oh, he throws him out. He throws him out. What's he doing? What's happening? Why is this a cutscene? What's going on? I don't know what this is. Oh, straight onto the ring post. Oh, back body drop. Elliot's really targeting the back here. He's sitting up for his power bomb and his finishing move. But Harvey fights back. Throws him into the barricade. Back body drop from Harvey. Our competitors have to be careful to not get counted out here. The count's at six. And Harvey, oh, he goes through hands, but Elliot. Elliot sweeps the leg, throws him away. It's the count at seven. Elliot gets back into the ring. You're not gonna win the championship like this, bro. You're not winning the championship like this. Get up, Harvey. Oh, Elliot breaks the count. He was just resting. Harvey throws a haymaker, throws a few more. Fighting, that fighter's spirit is in Harvey. The collar and elbow tie up, thrown to the ropes. Drops down, over the top. Oh, and a massive, massive suplex. Harvey kicks out. See, Elliot has his finisher. Oh, and this might be it. This might be it. Massive. That's a rope break. A rope break from Harvey on the finisher. A rope break from Harvey on the power bomb. He's still in this. He's still fighting. He's beaten. No energy. Nothing. And he's still in this. <gasps> A massive clothesline from Harvey. Throws the haymaker. Angle slam. Angle slam from Harvey. This could be it. Pin him. Ankle lock. Oh, he's got to be a rope break. Oh, he's got his elbow on the, that rope. He's got his elbow on the rope. Harvey. Begging Elliot to get up. Taunting him. Ankle rope. Ankle lock. Ankle mark. Submission move. Will Elliot tap? Will Elliot tap? This is it, the finisher from Harvey. Elliot just needs to tap. Come on, Harvey. Put the cheetah down. Put the cheetah down. Elliot rolls out. These men have given everything. Oh no. Tiger power bomb. Harvey goes down. Oh, they've given everything. Oh, he's just kicking him in the face, disrespecting him, disrespecting the healthcare workers of our country. Oh, and a knee to the face to, on top of it. Elliot, I don't even know what that was. I know a lot of women out there want Elliot to do the same to them, but not Harvey, not here.
Massive kick, chops, clothesline. Uh, Harvey just looks defeated. He looks down. I don't know if he can do anything about this, chat. I think Harvey might be done. No! Sweeps the leg, goes for the quick pin! He could steal it! He could steal it! He stole it! He stole it! Harvey stole it! He did it! He did it! We did it, chat! Harvey stole it! The new and very first Stardew Heavyweight Champion is Harvey! I can't believe it! What a match! What a tournament! And thank you so much for watching! This video is going to be copyrighted the hell out of it, so if you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and let's we'll do another one six months down the line. Oh my god, that was incredible!